Okay, example number four, we're going to differentiate one, two, three, four, five, six different functions. Okay, so we'll start with A here. To differentiate this guy, we've got x e to the 3x. And now what I've got here is I've got two different functions, so I'm going to use the product rule. So this is equal to the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Okay, now from the last video, we already know what the derivative of this guy is. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and work it out again just in case you didn't watch that. So d dx of x is 1. So we just have e to the 3x for this guy. For this guy right here, we've got plus. Okay, now the derivative of this, we're going to use the chain rule. So let's let u be equal to 3x. Again, we already worked this problem out. But it's good to see it again. So the ddx will be replaced with du dx times d du of e to the u. So this is e to the 3x plus. Now du dx, we get up here. The rate of change of u with respect to x is 3. And d du of e to the u is just e to the u times x. So this will be e to the 3x plus 3x e to the 3x. And now a lot of times you'll see when they've got the same piece in here, you'll see authors go ahead and factor that guy out. So e to the 3x times the quantity 1 plus 3x, and just like that. Okay, so that's how we work A. Let's go ahead and look at the next function, which is written like this. It's kind of a strange way of writing it, but I'll go ahead and convert it here for you. So it's the exponential of x squared plus 2x. Okay, and so when we write exponential, give me a second. So we're assuming this guy has a base e. So another way of writing this is e to, oops, I wrote x to the x. Let me go back here and look to see what I was, uh, what I was writing down here. It's x squared. So this is really e to the x squared plus 2x. So let's go ahead and differentiate that guy. Okay. So again, we're going to make a substitution here. And we're going to call u x squared plus 2x. Well then, if we want the derivative with respect to x of this guy, we hit really have this. And we know that that can be replaced with this, which we know is e to the x squared plus 2x. And now we have to multiply it by du dx. And the derivative of u with respect to x is 2x plus 2. And so what we'll do is we'll just write that guy out in front. Just like that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and work C. Okay, so C is just x squared. And of course, ddx of x squared, we're going to use since this is not an exponential function. Let's be very clear. The variable is not up in the exponent. Okay, so not an exponential function, so we'll use the power rule here, and we'll just get 2x. 
Okay, for d, we have e raised to the square root of x. And so what we want is the derivative of that guy. Okay, and that, we're going to go ahead and make a substitution here again. Let's let u be equal to the square root of x. So this will be du dx times d du of e to the u, which we know is du dx times e to the u. And du dx is one half x square or square root of x, like that. So this will be equal to e the square root of x over two square roots of x, just like that. Okay. Now we've got two more left. So the letter e says we've got e raised to the sine function of x. Kind of an odd looking function here. But let's go ahead and differentiate. So d dx of e raised to the sine x. Well, again, we're going to make a substitution. We'll let let u be equal to sine x. So this becomes du dx times d du of e to the u. And so now we need to know what is du dx. Well, the derivative of u, the rate of change of u with respect to x is cosine x. So this will be cosine x times e to the u, which is this guy right here. Okay. Now one more. F asks us to take 2 and raise it to the sine x. Now remember, when the base is not e, it changes a little bit when we differentiate. So again, we'll proceed like we normally do. We'll say, okay, let's let u be equal to sine x. So u is a function of x. Well, then we get d dx of 2 to the u. But again, we need these guys to match. So this will be du dx times d du of 2 to the u. Now we need both these pieces. So over here, we have du dx is equal to cosine x. So that's going to replace this guy right here. Now this right here, so let's just write in that cosine x. This guy right here is the natural log of 2 times 2 to the u, and u is sine x. So this, we'll write it as natural log 2 times 2 to the sine x times cosine x, just like that. It really is irrelevant whether you leave it as this guy or as this guy.